You might have already heard of Obsidian Publish, which is the Obsidian paid service for sharing your Obsidian notes online. However, this is completely public, and there's one thing that this service hasn't been able to resolve quite yet, and that's sharing a note online privately. Notion happened to do this really well, and until now, Obsidian's kind of been behind in that area. In this video, I'm going to talk about a plugin that lets you quickly and easily share things online for free to anyone that you choose and have it be private or semi-private. We're going to be talking about Obsius Publish. Obsius Publish is a third-party community plugin for Obsidian that is free and open source. Shout out to my friend Andy Palane for turning me on to this idea. Check out his link right here. Obsius Publish can be seen as an alternative to Obsidian Publish, but I don't think it really is that. See, Obsidian Publish is more like an open sharing of all of your notes or maybe some of your notes, a subset of them that you've chosen to make public, but you also see the hierarchy and links between them, and there's a lot more functionality built into it. That is one use case that Obsidian Publish really excels in. However, Obsius Publish is more for the kind of one-off little notes that you don't necessarily want to publish to everyone, but you may want to just send to a few people. It's still not for completely private notes though. Obsidian Publish does have a option where you can just password protect your entire vault and it would still be better in that use case. Obsius Publish instead relies on security through obscurity. You're given a URL that is fairly difficult to guess, and anyone who has that link can see it. So you would install Obsius Publish the same way that you would any other community plugin. You would go here and click Browse, and you would look for Obsius Publish. And it is by John Greith. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. You would then install it, enable it, and then you're pretty much good to go. Now what this does is it gives you a few options in your command palette. First, let's talk about how you would publish a note in the first place to Obsius. So I'm going to create a new note here and we will say Obsius publish is awesome. That's automatically filled in my default note template. And then let me just type something in here like support the developer. Let me put a link on that. And this is the link to buy the developer a coffee if you're a nice person. All right, so with Obsius Publish, you just have to go to your command palette, which is command or control P, and then you can type Obsius. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is publish to Obsius. So I'm going to select this first option and you can also assign that a hotkey and it'll say note published to Obsius. The URL is copied to the clipboard. So you can just paste it here. But what I like to do is I actually like to add a property here and I use Obsius URL. Now I can just paste that in and that way when I go back to this note, I'll be able to click on that Obsius link if I want to share it with somebody else. Now let me click on this and this is what that looks like. So this is actually taking me to a page on the internet. So it is using that link that I clicked on and it just publishes whatever I had there on the internet for everybody to see. So anyone with this link can access this. So I would not use this for anything private because people would still be able to access. So this is just a very simple note, but I wanted to show you what I've actually used it for. So I'm going to open up another note here, and this is a live stream, a weekly live stream that I do for work called Grafana Office Hours. So I had a guest on that I interviewed, and I actually wanted to send him the talking points that we that I plan to hit during that live stream. So I created an Obsius URL. So I published this to Obsius. I mean, it didn't really matter if other people saw my talking points. It's not like, you know, it's secret information, but I did just want an easy way to share it with him. So if I click on that, then this is what it looks like. So you can see that even iframe, so this is an iframe in Obsidian like this, will show up on Obsius and so will some links. So I have the talking points here and basically everything that I wanted to show him. 
Now let's say I want to update this page. I've already published something. Let's say I don't like how in Obsius there's already the heading for the file name and then there's another heading for this one. So it's kind of doubling up. So let me remove this part of it. It should show up just the one time. And to be able to update and push those changes back to Obsius, I'm gonna go back to the command palette and now there'll be another command called update in Obsius. I'll hit enter. Why did it fail? Now, this is the problem with it. It says that it's failed to update the note. However, I have noticed that when I click on it, it's still actually updated. So that's a minor bug, right? It doesn't actually affect functionality. It's more a messaging thing. But I just wanted to call it out in case you run into it as well. So as you can see, that secondary heading has been removed. Now, what if I wanted to remove this page entirely so I no longer want it to be visible? And this could be like, I just maybe want to change the page. This is a way of kind of revoking permissions. And to do that, I would just look for the command for Obsius Publish called remove from Obsius. And then I can hit enter on that. It will again say failed to remove node from Obsius. There's something funny about the way that that is configured. But if I go here and then hit refresh, it will now say 404 not found because it's been deleted from the Obsius server. Now, the only other remaining command here is to look at all of the published posts. So if I click on this, it'll show me a list of all of the things that I'm currently publishing on Obsius. And I can then go into that Obsius page or go to the note within Obsidian. So this is just an easy way to kind of prune what you've put out there. Now let's talk about the limitations of Obsius Publish. For starters, it's only really for one-off pages. So for example, if you have two pages, both of which are on Obsius, the links that you use in Obsidian are still in the Wikilinks format or the Markdown format for links, depending on which you chose, are not going to be able to be clickable because they're still referring to a note that Obsius doesn't really know is published or not. It doesn't sort of parse through all of your published posts and try to match them up. However, if you do want to link to them on Obsius in particular, if you publish them both, then instead of using the Obsidian link for it, then you can actually take the URL and link to it as if it were an external link. I personally haven't found a need to do that. If I need to show someone like some sort of more complex network of notes, then I'm probably just going to consider publishing it. Which brings me to the second point. Obsius Publish has pretty limited permissions. So there is no way to say, hey, I just want all of my Obsius posts published and hyperlinked in some sort of way and I don't want to do it and manually create a table of contents or anything like that, Obsius won't do that for you. Obsius is just going to let you individually publish pages. You also can control who sees that note. So anyone with that link is going to be able to access everything in that note, which means that you really shouldn't put anything on Obsius that you wouldn't want to be made public. Remember that this is still somebody else's computer, someone else's server. And while I'm sure the developer is very trustworthy, just exercise some general caution in terms of what you are going to put out there. Also on the privacy note, I am very careful about anything that I let publish from my vault. So I actually did some testing on this. Let me show you some of it right now. So I'm going to open up the developer tools console. One of my main concerns is whether Obsius Publish looks at my other notes. So I only wanted to look at this note. So I'm going to type some things here just so I have something to update. And then I'm going to hit update and it'll give me that error, which is a 400, which is fine because we know that that doesn't affect anything. However, I have also actually looked in here to see what it's sending. So this was an options request. And in this put one, this is where I really need to check the payload. 
and I did have a look at this content and it only looks at exactly what is on the note. No more, no less. So I've done this a few times and I'm pretty confident that it only ever looks at the note. I've also done it with new notes and removal of notes and I've done it in different combinations. So I'm pretty comfortable with it. However, I would recommend that you do your own research and decide for yourself what you're comfortable with allowing this plugin to access. I think in general, it's a very good idea to use a separate vault perhaps that doesn't have sensitive information. And the last limitation to Obsius is related to one of its benefits, that it is free. This is somebody who's paying for an instance somewhere in the cloud out of his own pocket, out of d donations and coffees that people buy him. And I think that while that is very admirable on the part of the developer, it does call into question the longevity of something like this. So I wouldn't put anything here that is very mission critical. Be prepared for these links to go down. And that's why I recommend just treating it as a way to publish one-off notes that maybe are going to be looked at once or twice by the people that you send the link to, and then maybe never again. Obsius Publish is a community plugin for Obsidian that was created and maintained by one developer. They don't even know I'm making this video, but if you'd like to make their day and you want to show your thanks for their work, then check out this link. Buy them a coffee, be an awesome person, and support the community, and maybe help pay for some of those server costs if you're using the plugin. I'm curious though, if you're not using Obsidian Publish and you're not using Obsius Publish either, and you're sharing your notes somehow, can you sound off in the comments and let me know what solution you've landed on? I'm always looking at new solutions. If you're just getting started with Obsidian and you're kind of lost in this world of community plugins, did you know that I have a course? It's called Obsidian for Everyone, and you can check it out on this video here and in the description below. I tried to make it as beginner friendly as possible, so it's not so daunting. It doesn't include the community plugins, but it does include all of the core plugins. Thank you for watching. Havu bonan semain finon kai estu felicia.